What's up, everybody? I'm Jay Guy, but you guys know me on Team Integra as Just Incredible. So, this is a little quick update um, with my build. I'd rather do a video update than just type it all out because I don't know. I feel like typing right now. So, what I noticed with my build, I was I was losing a lot of water. In case you guys don't know, I have a turbocharged GSR. I just got re I rebuilt it with an ERL sleeve block with a manly valve train head um, with a uh, STC Predator Turbo, a Ram Horn uh, Manifold. You know, if you guys from following my build, you know what's up. But anyways, I've been losing a lot of water, and I didn't know why I was losing water. I thought it was a radiator, maybe radiator fins were, were bad. I was losing water from that, so I thought it was that. I thought I had a leak somewhere. Um, water is evaporating just out of nowhere, and um, what I think one thing I was doing is I'm constantly refilling it, and it still wasn't solving the problem. You know what I mean? And um, my oil didn't show any signs of water being in it. I would check it, it just wasn't there. So the last thing anybody wants to do that builds a motor, <laughs> you know, is pull the head or pull a big part off. So I had to pull the head, you know, and once I got the head off, I noticed that in this section right here, uh, number one, number four piston, uh, number four piston had water on top of it, just sitting there. So that told me that, hey, okay, water was getting you know, lost and it was, you know, being maybe uh, burnt from the uh, combustion chamber, right? I only got like 3,000 miles on this motor. So I remembered that, hopefully I have the video clip, you guys can see it in the video clip, when I was torquing down the head, I was holding the block while I was torquing it. And that's not the right way of torquing things. Um, you're supposed to hold the, the head of the socket and the end of the, of, of the, uh, and the, well, the head, of, the head of the socket, but the head of the actual tool, and in, in, in the end of it as well. That's how you're supposed to torque it down. So I think what happened was was just the fact that while I was torquing it, I was getting a bad reading. I was getting the reading from the weight of the motor versus the actual torque being being done on the actual uh, a, uh, ARP uh, nut to the head. So I was getting a bad reading. And the number eight um, stud when I took it off it was it was loose. So that kind of told me, okay, that's what it is. And then this for uh, safety reasons. In case you guys are wondering, I did check the cylinder walls. They all look fine. I still see the hex pattern in there. They all look the same, actually. Uh, look fresh. Um, of course, the top of them got a little oil around there. It's natural. And yes, I know the pistons have a lot of carbon buildup. I'm going to clean that off with a soft uh, uh, sponge, I guess you can say. Um, nothing rough, nothing with any metal. So this plastic, basically, to try to rub them out with like maybe some brake cleaner, a little bit of that. Just clean them. You know, get them nice and clean, and then put it all back together. Also, I have uh, the new Golden Eagle. Well, it's new to me, at least. Their advanced head, ga head gasket and the regular head gasket. So I put them next to each other just to show you guys the difference between the two. But the regular one, as you can see, just is regular. I mean, it's a regular overboard stock head gasket, right? Well, the other one, it, it, has, it, has, it looks the same, but it has like a copper, I don't know, has some other microns in it and some other, some other stuff. The backside looks different. And then it says GEM on it, which is Golden Eagle Manufacturing. You know, they imprinted it. So that's something that's a little different in it. But it was only $10 more than the other one. So I said, what the hell? I was get it. But anyways, I put everything back together probably maybe Monday. I'm going out of town for a bachelor party. So I'm going to do that first, obviously. When I get back, I put it back together and um, see how everything goes. Man, this video is supposed to be real short. <laughs> I think it's about like four minutes long now. But anyways... You guys hit me up, man. Just thanks for following. Keep in touch with me. Like Dr. Mix, you know, uh, he, he's, he's a real good, good dude. Him and I text each other every now and then. Same thing with Josh or Luck M4R. <laughs> I don't know how to say it together, but yeah, uh, we're pretty cool. So I keep in touch with those guys, man. Internet, man. Got good friends. And uh, using the internet can create good friends, you know. It's pretty cool. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and thanks for them um, asking me how my build's going. It's fine. I think bad. It'll sound kind of down. I'm really not. My eyes are just bothering me for some reason. But it's not. It's not the only car I'm working on. <laughs> Later on, another video, a documentary, whatever. I'll show you the other car I got. I'm working on. Kind of spicing up a little bit. But anyways, I'm out.